Hey guys, so I am at a dumpster and it has a Kirkland's and I see a super cute fluffy Kirkland's pillow. It just has a little cut in it which can easily be sewed up but it's so soft and fuzzy. I'm gonna double check but it is super full tonight. Okay, checked inside this box and it looks like there's a picture frame. It just has a broken piece of glass which can still be used. I just need to pop that glass out. Okay, I'm finding some more Kirkland's vines. This one is broken, but it's kind of hard to tell. It can honestly be used like this, but I think it was broken. Oh, maybe it was a smaller. I think this might have been like a smaller version, but I also found this one, which is a big one. The only thing about this one is this piece is a little bit bent, but I don't think that would be very hard to fix. So I got a couple of these little like coat rack hangers. Okay, I took this home. I didn't have time to get a couple things on video, but I have this, which is a super cute painting from Kirkland's. And then I also found this, which is just something you can put like jackets or something on. I think what happened is it might be upside down. I am not too sure, but still either way, super cute. Hey guys, I'm at my Bath and Body Works and I found a bag, so I'm gonna, I think I might hear something, it smells good, so there could be something in here. While I was digging, I just hit this bag, it's a Victoria's Secret bag, so it's kind of light, but there could be a couple things in here, and then I think there's another Bath and Body Works bag, so it could be a couple of good things at this location. Okay, so I just opened up this bag and there's some really cute holiday wallflowers and I see a couple of hand soap holders. Those are so cute. And then there's just a bunch of like plain wallflowers. I think I'm going to leave those ones. I just have too many. Oh, this is one of those little car scent things. Okay, I'm at another Bath and Body Works and I see a bag. It's kind of heavy, so I'm going to grab it and see what's inside. Okay, I just opened it up, and I see a candle, I think. Yeah, there's a candle here. And I think it felt heavy. Yeah, I was going to say, I think there's another one. So there's another candle. I think this one is not broken, it's just lightly burnt. And I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's it in this bag. I almost thought this was empty, but it's not. It's brand new. It's a shower steamer, so I'm actually probably going to try this. I actually haven't found one from them before, so I'm super excited about that. Okay, I'm going through that bag from Victoria's Secret. I don't know if maybe they found out that I hit their Victoria's Secret because they went super hard on everything it looks like. Like, this was like a pajama shirt, but they shredded it into a bunch of little pieces. And then it's just like everything in here is shredded. They did dump out like a bunch of um, like lip gloss, so everything is sticky. But let me see maybe if there's anything at all. Probably not. It doesn't look like there could be anything in here that can even be stitched. Okay, so I just peeked in this bag. I went through it a little bit and everything is shredded in pieces. Like, look at that. This, I think it was like pajama bottoms, but I found at least like 10 different pieces. So they did not leave anything behind today. It's really bad. So I don't, I tried finding stuff that maybe can be fixed or sewed, but like they just cut everything into pieces and look at all of this clothing and bras all of this could have been donated like some of these tags they were thrown away for like a stain like that's crazy i can't believe this okay it's so the next night and i was stopping by pink it's like right next to victoria's secret they have separate but um i found a bag Looking at it, I can already tell it looks pretty bad, but I'm just going to grab it and see if there's anything savable in it. Okay, things are looking just how I thought it would, but you can see this one is even probably even worse than the last one I just went through. Just millions of pieces. There's a lot of clothing in here, especially with the cold weather coming. This could have been super nice to donate, 
but of course it's name brand so um yeah it looks like everything in here is completely trashed so there is a candle i can save i didn't even know they had candles but it smells really good so i can definitely save this at least hey guys i was digging at ulta and i found a palette i was gonna open it with you guys moment of truth yes they didn't mess with it or anything it just looks a little bit swatched up but other than that a palette but i was digging around looks like they might have done some displays Let's see i think i heard i did i knew it okay so looks like there might be some brushes in that bag so i'm gonna put that to the side how did i even miss this okay so soup bag or not soup bag let me see doesn't look like it's souped. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab these, take them to the car, but I think that's all I can see. I'm gonna dig a little bit, but at least get these into the car since it looks like we found a couple of good things. Okay, I just double checked both sides. It's just a bunch of boxes and like tissues, but other than that, I think I got everything that was good. Yeah, it just looks like a bunch of boxes. Okay, I found a safe spot to open these bags. I couldn't wait that long, so I just wanted to get into it. I'm gonna start with these brushes. I'm gonna rip this bag open first. So I'm just seeing a bunch of makeup brushes. They do look used, but if you know makeup brushes, they can be cleaned off and sanitized really, really easy. So let me just grab all of these out and I'll show you guys the makeup brushes. Okay, so some makeup brushes. I just found a bunch of different kinds and shapes, so I'm not mad about that. I just have to, to clean them off because they definitely look like they were used a little bit, which is no biggie. Okay, next bag, which I'm super excited about. I wanted to save it for last. Let me just rip this open. Oh my gosh, some people just came out. Okay, opened it up and I'm seeing just a bunch of different products, makeup. I even found a straightening tool, which it is maybe not cut. Let's see, is it? It doesn't look cut. Oh, they cut the end of it. Usually they cut it right there, but I don't see the other piece to it, but I have a bunch of extra ones, so that's not too bad. And it is a dry bar straightener. And I see a dry shampoo, empty box. I see two of these. These are like the NYX, eye, NYX eyeliners. MAC, this is a, like a, I guess, I think it's like a primer. And another brush and glitter primer and just a couple of random odds and ends i'm really excited about the dewy spray i think that's my favorite find out of this and of course who doesn't need dry shampoo okay guys a quick overview this is bath and body works i found just a bunch of different really cute wallflowers um just a little bit of everything they just need to be cleaned but almost 90 percent of the time they work um and then i think my favorite is this christmas one i think it's at the bottom this christmas one which it looks like it has a light up but it's, i think it cracked but it should work i'm gonna test these but they are so so cute and then a couple of oils as well then i found two candles this one is flannel and this one is christmas cider so all of the christmas scents are coming in i'm so excited and then i found one of these shower steamers which looks brand new to me i opened it and it looks like it's only missing one so maybe yeah just one so that's really cool i'm gonna have to test this out and from ulta i just found like a bunch of odds and ends um a lot of it is new there's like some of the used brushes but um, just really cool, just a bunch of little ottomans, makeup and skincare stuff. 
foundation and then a dry bar straightener which can be an easy fix and then of course the Norvina palette which is in really good condition it just has some swatching from Kirkland's of course the super soft and cute pillow a broken picture frame and then two of these coat hangers which has a little defect but overall super cute and then of course the two things I showed earlier already hung one of the picture frames so a couple of really cute things from Kirkland's